All right, guys, we're going to do another uh, option in this series when someone is trying to uh, double underhook stack pass, okay? So Milo has double underhooks, and he's ready to stack pass. I'm flaring my knees out, heavy legs, and I'm able to underhook. I tried the first option, which was a sweep, couldn't get it. And now I tried the arm lock, but the arm lock didn't work because he hit his hands very low, and instead of having a base, he kind of flattened out his, his turtle. Go ahead and flatten out your turtle. Yeah, exactly. They do this so they're very hard to pass the leg to get the shoulder lock. So what I'm gonna do here, guys, look, I'm gonna hold on to the belt and I'm gonna throw my leg over his head this way. Now, once I feel I pass my leg, I'm gonna come back and reach around. And now he's, exactly, he's gonna react because he feels that I let go. And now I'm gonna come up all the way to the back. Or I can also use this to get my underhook, or at least get one hook. One more time. So he has double wonders. I'm able to underhook the legs, come up. I try the first option to sweep. I can't. I try the shoulder lock. I can't. So look, he flattens out. So look, I'm going to use my elbow to block his head, throw my leg over his face. I release and re-grip this way. Now look. I'm doing like an arm drag. That way he cannot posture, try to posture. I don't let him. From here I come up, connect my hip to his hip. I can bring my leg out like I did previously and go to, and go to this type of back control. Or I can use this to come up all the way on top to get my traditional back control. Either way, it's a reversal to come up on top. So there's many options to do from here, but it gives you an idea at least to think of this in terms of a concept, where to go when the guy is trying to under, double underhook stack. If the shoulder lock's not there, if the sweep is not there, you also have the back take. Hope you guys enjoy.